let me talk to you about those pork tenderloins I told you about. And first of all, we want to make something that's going to go into the pork tenderloins themselves. And that is a paste. This is a shallot. This is what shallots look like. They are a cross between an onion and a garlic. I'm just going to take these a shallot, a whole shallot, and put it in a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you're going to have to do this in a, um, a blender. You're going to have to do it by hand, but you're going to have to mince it very fine. So that's in there, and now we need the rest of these ingredients. And for the filling, I'm using something called pancetta, which is Italian bacon, unsmoked. You want about a quarter of a pound of pancetta. So that goes in to the food processor. And really, that's all there is. That's all there is to the paste, that is. Put that on and get that into a very fine paste. Because now what you want to do with this is stuff the pork tenderloins. So you see how I'm getting that really, really into a finely minced state. And that looks good. So I'm going to stop right there and show you what that looks like. Let me get a spoon. OK. Here is our paste. That look good? All right, so that stays off to the side. Now, let me do those pork tenderloins first for you. Now, pork tenderloins usually come about a pound or a pound and a quarter to a package. And here are mine. You can see how beautiful they are. And really, this is going to be enough to serve an awful lot of people. So what you want to do is make some slits in the meat, just like this. I'll do one for you. You see? All over the meat. Make that a deep slit. And then take some of that paste and push it deep into the pockets of the pork tenderloin. This gives this a wonderful, wonderful flavor. And you do the same to the second one. Then, once you have that done, let me wash my hands for a minute. I hope Tommy's going to appreciate this because this is a lot of work on my part. Then, once you have them prepared like that, well, you want to make the marinade that that's going to go into. And that's very simple. Here we have a couple bay leaves. We have a little bit of white wine. That goes in. We have some olive oil. That goes in like so. We have a little bit of salt. We have onions. One large onion will do it. We have juniper berries. And these give these pork tenderloins a very woodsy, woodsy, woodsy taste. Here are juniper berries whole. I just crushed them. And then, let's see, I put in the salt. I've got the vinegar. No, I've got the white wine. I'm all set. In they go. They go in, and then what you want to do is cover this, then come back and turn the meat so that both sides have been marinating nicely in that wonderful marinade that you just made. Okay, so now wait, is the oh, fire hot oh enough? Oh yeah, it's yeah. nice and hot. We yep. want that about 450 it degrees. Is. I checked it before. Okay, yep. take it right okay. out of the marinade. I'm going to use your brush here, do you okay, mind? No, not at all. Okay, yeah, that the sizzle when it goes mm. right on. And then, all you this isn't going to take long because all this right. is all boneless and it's very mm -hmm. tender. Now this one, good, get this over. And then I just, you know, brush it with mm -hmm. a little bit of that wine marinade. And I think the juniper berries really give this a nice woodsy oh, kind of smell. And now Ooh, all you do is wonderful. you put the cover on. All right.